I think many, if not all of you, have heard horror stories from women who have suffered from vaginal mesh complications following pelvic organ prolapse surgery. And today, we're going to learn more about what pelvic organ prolapse is and the advances in treating this condition affecting thousands of women each year. Now, joining us today virtually are urogynecologist Dr. Alan D. Garley, Department Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Mount Sinai South Nassau, and Patty Gary, Vice President of Clinical Affairs at TRX Biosurgery. And with me in studio is Mr. Robert Greer, President and Founder of Arms Medical. Welcome to you all. Thank you so much, sir, for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, Doctor, starting with you, can you tell us what is pelvic organ prolapse? Montel, every woman has muscles that keep their vagina rectum and bladder in place in normal position. If those muscles become weak or they become stretched or damaged, then a woman develops what's called a prolapse. And that prolapse can affect the bladder, the vagina, or the rectum. Symptoms that are associated with these types of prolapses in, include incontinence, where women leak urine if they cough, laugh, or sneeze, or when they have to run to the bathroom and can't make it, or if the vagina turns inside out, like a hernia. Well, now who does this affect? About one in three women who have given birth vaginally ultimately will end up with a prolapse, but in a population of women under 40, about 25%, and women under 50, almost half the women are affected by pelvic organ prolapse. Most women, however, don't know that they need to seek treatment or that there's help available for them. So doctor, what causes pelvic organ prolapse? Montel, all women have muscles that keep their pelvic floor in one position. What that means is that these muscles keep the bladder in the right spot, the vagina in the right spot, and the rectum in the right spot. If those muscles become stretched or injured or damaged, then the bladder, the vagina, and the rectum can move out of position and the best way to think about it is if the vagina is like a pocket and you put your hand in your pocket and pull your pocket inside out, that's what we're talking about in terms of a prolapse. And those, those prolapses affect function too. So Rob, just how does your company help women suffering from pelvic floor prolapse? Montel, our mission at, at Arms Medical is to provide surgeons safe and effective solutions to treat women with pelvic organ prolapse. Dermapure and the pre-cut shapes of Venu are innovative human biologics that utilize a D-cell technology. The surgeon will implant these products to replace, reconstruct, and restore the patient's damaged tissue. Patty, as a VP of Clinical Affairs at TRX Biosurgery, can you explain a little bit how D-cell technology works? So D-cell technology actually originated at the University of Leeds in the UK, and it was first used on aortic heart valve replacements. And um, so unlike alternative processes, uh, D-cell technology removes greater than 99% of the DNA. That's the donor DNA. Yet it doesn't damage the structure. This is very important for the patient who's receiving Dermapure or the soon to be launched Venu um, because it, it stimulates the patient's own cells. So it impacts healing and it promotes regeneration. So now Patty, I understand that you also suffered from pelvic organ prolapse and before surgery, what were your symptoms? I had increasing pain um, and pressure bulging into my vaginal cavity, issues with elimination, both bowel and bladder, you know, and consequently both of those led to uh, some insecurities with um, intimacy. Wow, thanks so much for sharing. And uh, doctor, now you performed hundreds of these surgeries, you know, um, what can women expect? The purpose of reconstructive surgery is to restore women back to a normal quality of life period. We want people to be able to engage in all the activities that they were unable to engage in when they were suffering from this problem. That includes normal sexual function, normal bowel and urinary habits, and also the ability to re-engage in their community without having to worry. Now, Patty, you took action to fix your prolapse. Where should women start in seeking treatment? I wanted a surgeon that was board certified in female pelvic medicine. And number two, I wanted them to be familiar and using a product with D-cell technology. Wow, now how are you doing now? Um, I'm back to leading a very full and active life. And you know, to the ladies out there listening, I would say, you know, don't suffer. There are solutions, seek treatment. You know, this isn't something that, you know, as a woman, we just need to deal with. What has been the reaction to Dermapure and Vino? It's been amazing the past four years and the fact that it has helped over 3,000 ladies with no complications. So, Doc? 
The most important thing for us in reconstructive surgery is to make sure that we are not harming our patients. And we know because of the safety and efficacy profiles of dermal grafts that they're safe. And we use them on our most complicated cases. Thank you all so much for being here and sharing this information today. Well, thank you for having us today. Thank you very much. And you know, if people want more information, where can they go? They can go to the website, armsmedical.com. If you want more information, you can always go to our website, thebouncingact.com.